Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and I'm recording another video for you today. Today, we're going to learn how to do the three pin fish tail. Now, I recorded a video on the hexafish, and basically, the hexafish is a more complicated version of this, and this is a little bit thinner than the hexafish, but it's thicker than the regular fish tail. And the easiest way to make this is to take your loom and connect it like so. All right. So as you can see, this triangle right here is what you're actually going to be using in order to create your three pin fish tail. And now you want to start with your first color and you're going to make a figure eight from one peg to the next. Okay, I'm actually going to put this down here too to further secure it. Then you're going to connect the next two pegs with another figure eight. And then you're going to connect the last two pegs with another figure eight. Alright, now once you have that done, you're going to pick your next two colors and put them on top like a triangle around all three pegs and your next one alright as you can see I have three figure eights on the bottom and two regular triangles right on top and you want to make sure you don't mix up the pat the uh, the order ever because if you mix up the order that's going to end up causing problems later on so try to keep everything in order you know the pink is always going to be under the orange and the red is under the pinks so once you do that you're going to grab both of the bottom reds and you're going to pull it over okay you're gonna do that with all three sides of that triangle but make sure it's always on the outer edge of the triangle like you can't go in here and pull these two parts over it has to be on the outer side so It's kind of hard. And bring it over. All right, so you push down and then you grab your next color. And you put the triangle on top. And then this time, instead of grabbing two, you're only grabbing one from the bottom. And you're bringing it up. Okay. And you push down. You grab your next color. Put the triangle on top. And you grab just the bottom, bring it up and over, just the bottom, up and over, just the bottom, up and over, push down, grab your next rubber band, and you get the idea. It's just the same exact thing over and over again, and you're going to keep doing this until the bracelet is long enough to go around your wrist. All right, just watch. We'll be back after this is long enough. All right, so there you go. There is the last rubber band. And now what you want to do is even that 
last last one you want to bring that over to the top as well so you're ending it with just the top rubber band okay and then you're actually going to move all three sides onto one peg so you can grab one end bring it over put it on top push it down a little bit so we get some room for that third one bring this one over and then put it on top and then grab a clip and clip these three ends and then now you could take it off alright and now you want to clip the other end so you can see it kinda of looks like a flower again and when you look at it you want to grab the outermost three on the inside of that flower so I want to grab one. it's actually the pinks that I'm grabbing and I mean Another easy way to do this is just grab the, the hook and get all three of those pinks and then just transfer it back onto the loom. I mean that seems to be my favorite method. And once you grab all three, just take it and put it back. make sure this bracelet is kind of straight you know if you have it rotated like this it's going to create a weird form that's going to be uncomfortable around your wrist so just uh, straighten it out a little bit I'm going to hook the other and then that's it then you can just pull it off as you can see and you're going to see that these were the initial three that we started off with, those three eights. You can actually rip those off. All right. and pull them out. go. That's it. Finished product.